Hello! In today's video, I have for you a mixed thrift haul from estate sales and vintage shops. Here we go! Hello, you all. I hope you're doing well. I have a haul for you today. I still have not been to the thrift store. I am going. Have no fear. It's Friday when I'm filming this. I'm planning to go to the thrift store. Let's see, Maddie is moving. <laughs> my oldest that's our last like big uh thing that we have to do until we have hannah's grad party which will be in july and so we're moving maddie on saturday hope so hopefully i'll get to go to some thrift stores on sunday i'm not committing to anything but just rest assured i am going to the thrift stores i know it's like a little bothersome for some of you but honestly like thrift store prices are so high right now that i'm getting much better deals at yard sales and garage sales so anyway that is what i have for you but the most exciting thing so i have some things from estate sale and the vintage shop but i went to the pink elephant because i had to bring some things in and there's a dealer there that has an amazing booth so she's down so my booth is downstairs at the pink elephant i also have like some scattered shelves around the upstairs area but my booth is downstairs and she's across the way from me and she has amazing stuff if you like like jewelry or if you need like junk journaling stuff sewing notions doll clothes like crafty kinds of things so i go down there once a month just to see if there's things that i want to bring home for my own crafting and i hit the jackpot today with two huge jars. So we're gonna open these together. So let's go ahead and start with the other things first. Okay, so from the estate sale that I went to, I only got one bag of things and it was $10, which sounds like a lot, but I thought they were really cool. So it's this whole bag of vintage tins. Oh my gosh, I love these. I'm, there's a word my kids use, tweaking. <laughs> It's like when you're really excited or upset or whatever, and you're like, ah, ah, well, I'm a little, I was tweaking over these tins and what was in this bag. So there's this little, like, this is probably my favorite thing. It's this oil can, I guess. I think this is going to look fantastic in some of my vignettes that I put together. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. So that's probably my favorite thing. But then for my kitchen, I'm going to show you all of these at once because they kind of all go together. There's five of them. They're all bouillon cube tins. I never knew bouillon cubes came in these cutie little tins at one point in our history. So this one is herb ox. And then we have another herb ox. Oh, so that was veggie. And this is, this just says bouillon. And then we have blue ribbon is the brand on these bouillon. And I have another of the blue ribbon. And then I have another herb box. And this one is chicken bouillon. So it specifies there. So I think those are so cute. And you know, I'm decorating my kitchen in primaries for the summer. So these are going to go great. I'm going to display them together, probably on my tiered tray. But I haven't decided yet. That's another something I'm trying to get to this weekend. I don't know if it's going to happen. But I got Betty's outfit change. See that? for summer I thought this was great I don't have one that's like straight up patriotic but I think this one's so cute and it's like you can't see it but the flowers here have blue in them so it is red white and blue with the little eyelet pocket and her little hat that looks like something out of the 1900s oh my gosh Betty you're looking good <laughs> Okay, so um, that was, those were my favorite finds from the, the back. Then there's a few that I'm going to part ways with at the Pink Elephant. There are two um, tobacco ones. They're kind of cool shapes, but, you know, I don't need these for anything. I guess someone could do like a vignette, not a vignette, um, an assemblage in them. But I don't need them. And then this one is also another uh, tobacco. Well, that was cool. And then these are really cool. These are also staying with me. So this one, okay, it's come out of it. So this is, it says um, Brunswick Pure Silk Cloth Mender. And I guess it was this like cloth. Oops, I can't even get it to, there we go. It's like really, really fragile. But this is a silk cloth mender. Uh, and it goes in here and it's missing its lid. So this will probably go in my little collection here. So to find a spot, we'll, we'll stick it there for now. And then this one is so cool. It's Tums. 
So if I get a chance, I will insert a picture of what I have going on in my bathroom. The medicine cabinet is where I have my little collection of vintage and um, antique like medicine and first aid things, bottles and stuff. So that's where this will go. I will show you my little collection in there. <clears throat> Someone asked me like, how many collections do you have? And I named off a lot of them. And then as, a, as the week has continued, I'm like, oh, I have a collection of that. Oh, I have a collection of that. The difference is like, I display a lot of my collections in my decor. So a lot of times I think of it as decor, but then I'm like, oh wait, that's a collection. That's a collection. So I have a lot of collections, but they're kind of small. A lot of them are small and they are like displayed together. So anyway, okay. I am drinking coffee, the Aldi coffee that I told you about. Actually, that's wrong. This is decaf from Aldi, a decaf um, that we get there. But it says, great ideas start with great coffee. So I wouldn't call the Aldi decaf coffee great. That midnight blend is very good. Um, the decaf is fine and it's cheap, so it's okay. So drinking coffee. Okay, then this is really cool. This is also going to go in that same collection in my bathroom. Colgate's Handy Grip Shaving Stick. So, oh my gosh. These are just so cool. I love old things. So, so fun to have. So there you go. Those are additions to that collection. Okay, so that can go away. Then I will show you, that was it. That was all that I got at the estate sale. The prices were high-ish, um, but I thought $10 for all of those things was a good, was a good deal. So then I got this from the next, oh, and everything else is from the vintage shop, from the Pink Elephant. Um, but yeah, so I got this. This is from that same dealer, and this is also going to go in my bathroom. Now, I was thinking maybe I might put these behind like a frame um, cause I don't want them to get ruined in there, but they're just old Q-tip packaging. I think they're so fun. I don't know. I just don't want the water to like do weird stuff with the paper. So you tell me what you think. Um, oh, it's a, it's a box. Oh, I didn't realize that when I bought it, I just thought it was two of these, but this actually, I guess would have gone in here. That is adorable. Well, now I'm not going to put it in a frame. I'll just have to repair it. And then I have an old Q-tip box. How cute is that? Oh, guys, that's so adorable. I know it's weird that I like these things. I'm sure in the 50s you threw these out regularly, but now we like to collect them. Isn't that funny? So anyway, that will also go into my bathroom. Okay, we're here in my bathroom. This cabinet is in poor shape. I actually need to replace it. It is dusted. I dusted it for you, but it doesn't ever really look that clean because it's just old. So anyway just to rest everyone's, put everyone's minds to rest. <laughs> Cause I know you'll look for dust. That's what people do on the internet. So here's my little collection of medicine and first aid related items. And you can see I added my little Colgate hand, handy grip shaving stick. I love that. And then here's my little Tums. I have a cool Vaseline bottle and there's my Q-tip box, which I assembled and <laughs> oops. There Okay, sorry, the dogs were barking. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I put the little Q-tip box in the back there. So I think it'll be fine because these are paper and they've been fine. And then my little Tums thing, did I say that already? I don't even know. I got interrupted, so that's what happens. But there you go. There's my little collection. Up here, it kind of continues. I have two old first aid kits. You saw me pick that one up recently, and I think someone sent that one to me. Or I might have bought it somewhere. I don't really remember. It's hard to remember. But And some old, more old bottles. So it's just a cute little theme in here. I love it. So the next thing is also from the pink elephant. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And it was on sale for $3. And it's a little record. I don't know if it works, but it doesn't matter because that's not why I bought it. Look at that graphic. It's so cute. Twinkle, twinkle, little star on that side. And then on this side, it says pretty Polly. So I'm thinking, I, I was thinking of just hanging it on the wall like this, but then you can't see that side. So I could possibly put fishing line and like hang it from the ceiling, but I think I'm probably just gonna um, hang it on the wall, like with on a nail and have this side displayed because that's a side that I absolutely adore. Is that so cute? Oh my gosh. It's so cute. So that was $3. Okay, now let's open these jars. I'm so excited because there's definitely a tomato pin cushion in one of them. 
in this one. And there's the needle books, which is another collection that I forgot to mention. But let's go ahead and open these for right now. So let me open it and then I'll come back and we'll go through it. All right, I got the first one open. Now, mind you, everything that I'm going to show you, I got for $5 because it was $5 for each jar. I mean, and there were plenty more and there was like a $10 jar and there were $20 jars. Okay, so there's a ton of thread in here which is useful. I really like these though. I think they're really pretty. So those are kind of fun. Tons of thread. I will keep some of it. I probably won't keep all of it. That's not why I bought the jars. Here's the good stuff. All right, we'll get into the good stuff. First of all, oh, my hair is a little messy, a little messy here. Oh my gosh. I love this. It's different than the ones that I have. Now I'm definitely gonna need to start my second jar, which is not in here right now. I got it at the yard sale, remember? Where is that? Hmm, hold on a second. Okay, I got my new jar. This is the jar I got at the yard sale recently. And I've got my first tomato in the new jar. So I have this jar, but this one's full. Oh, guys, I'm a disaster. I'm actually gonna move one of these into here so this one's not lonely. All right, so now I have this jar started and this jar. How fun is this? Oh my goodness. So fun. Okay. So that was the first thing I spotted. Then um, there was this really, oh, there's just some really cool stuff in here. Okay. So needles, needles are useful, but look at these really old um, snaps. And I thought this was really cool. High grade sharps. Pretty cool. I really like this. This is, I might put this in a junk journal. Um, Cause I don't need the needles. Wow. Those holes, the eyes of these needles are so tiny. Gosh, I don't think I could even see to, to thread them. But this would be really cool in my junk journals. So that might be what I use that for. I could even use some of this in my junk journals because I'm probably never gonna use the snaps, but I really like the advertising, the paper that they came on. So very cool. Okay, and this is something I spotted. I think I have this one, um, which I knew. I really wanted this jar because of the tomato, honestly. Um, so I think this might be a duplicate. If that's the case, I could do a giveaway with this one. I'll look in my collection. If this is a duplicate, um, then maybe I'll, because, you know, I started getting stuff together for a giveaway again, which I'm going to do one of the junk journals. Maybe I'll do one of these too. So that, oh, here's a cool wooden. Guys, what is my issue? What is my issue tonight? Anyway, that is useful. So I will keep that. All right. And then, oh, Ooh, there's another needle book. I definitely don't have this one. This is so cute. Comfort needle book. And there's a little girl and I guess her mom. And oh, this is fantastic. This is an oldie. Germany, made in Germany. So you could see um, down here, it says Germany. But look in here. This is very cool. Oh, I love that. I almost, I want to display this so maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to display this so that you can like open it. Hmm. And I'll have to think about how to do that. So that is super cool. These I saw and I really wanted because I think they're like, well, they may not be true darning needles, but I just needed a really big needle um, for a project that I'm working on. So it's actually a paper project and yeah, so I think that will be really good. And then there's also this, which I think, um, is that a needle? I don't know what, what kind, but that is nice and big as well. So these are be, these will be good for my crafting. And I just noticed this will be good for my um, junk journal. Uh, I don't wanna take it out right now, but there's a receipt here for a purchase that they made. And it says, um, $10, oops, that says 24th of April, does not have a year. And it says that they paid in cash $10 and got 45 cents back. So I don't know what they bought. It clearly wasn't just the needles, but I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so what is this? 
Ah, oh, this is fine. Oh, that's a cute little graphic of a baby. So these are the kinds of things, if I don't like the rest of it, I might just cut this graphic out and put it in my little paper scraps tin and plastic containers, not a tin, um, and then save it for my junk journal. So I've been doing a lot more junk journaling lately. This is cool. This will probably also go in my junk journal. And I will show you my junk journals. Um, I don't know. I don't know where. I mean, I'm not going to make a junk journaling video, but I can show you what I did in the garden one. You might want to like get some ideas. And also there's a channel I love to watch. Her name is Root Pursuit. If I think of it, I will link it below. And I highly recommend watching her if you're new to junk journaling. I just look at each project that she makes and then I try making one like just one. She makes like large quantities of things for, cause she has an Etsy shop, but I'll just like, I'm like, Oh, like, so today I made like paper, a paper, she did a video on paper clusters or something. So I made a paper cluster and put it in there. More thread. All right. Now, Ooh, love this. These are all marked $5. Why? Huh? Okay. I don't know what these originally were, but I'm going to use them as trim um, for my crafting. So those are cool. Ooh, love this. Didn't see this. Oh, hold on. I'm dropping stuff. I've got some old pieces of applique. These are fun. Some scraps of applique. Great for crafting. So those will go in my craft bin. Okay, got an old measuring tape. Oh, this is so cute. It's red, white, and blue. I might just like have to hang this on Betty for the holiday. It's a little, uh unruly but look at this it's so cute it's got like a, an, a finished stitch on the edge and it's red white and blue and that's just adorable oh my gosh Betty you're getting a you're gonna get a tape measure it goes with the theme that is adorable and um my mom was a polio survivor and so you know this is named Betty if you're new here it's named Benny Betty in my mother's honor but my mother was a polio survivor and always had to like hem her own pants because her one leg never grew after she got polio so her legs were significantly different lengths so that also makes me think of my mom Betty so there you go perfect okay some old zippers I don't know what I'll do with those. I'm not a seamstress, so I probably, oh, I probably won't use them as zippers. What is this? This is cute. Is this a pin? This is a pin cushion. That is adorable. Someone crocheted a little hat pin cushion. Oh my gosh. Guys, that's so cute. Oh, it's got a stain on it. That's a bummer, but it doesn't matter. I will put it in here with some pins in it and it will be adorable. All right. And another measuring tape, tape measure, measuring tape. This is new. Don't really care about that. That I'll probably donate, to be honest. Or I guess I could use that in a junk journal. True, true, right? Oh, oh, this was another good thing that I spotted in here. These are so cool. This is an old pair of, of stitchery scissors. Um, I love these. These are so cool. These are going to go in my little um scissor collection it's not really a collection i have one or two pairs but when i find cool old ones i put them all together out in my family room and that's where i'm gonna stick that all right what is this oh that's useful i think i have one but this is a keychain one i don't have a keychain one it's a measuring tape tape measure i always forget which is which guys um, really cool though for when I go thrifting and I'm, if I'm looking for a specific thing, that will go in my purse. Okay, so let me clean up from this one and then I will go through the next one, which has a needle book I definitely don't have. I'm super excited about it. So just hold the phone and we'll go through the next one. Okay, I got the second jar open. A lot of thread on top again. I'll just set those aside. Ooh, I like this one. See, now there's three of these or two from the other. And then this one, these are really cool. And there's the, the ends look like. I like that striped look. Oh, there's another uh, tomato in here. I didn't see that. It, see, it's like blocked. I did not see that when I got this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Ah. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it's a little baby one. It's cute. It's made in Taiwan. <laughs> it's so cute. 
There's a little tag that says Taiwan. It's really, really tiny. Okay, we're going to put this in the jar. Oh my goodness. So cute. I'm going to let the little Taiwan sticker show. Not sticker, tag. Oh, so cute. These are adorable. They are adorable. Okay, so what I was really after in this one was this. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. This one says Sewing Susan. This one says Happy Home. I'm pretty sure I have this one. I don't think I have this one. Oh my gosh, so cute. And really in good shape. A lot of the needles are in here. And even the needle threader is still here. So I'm not sure this was ever used. That's pretty cool. Can you see that? Very cool. Okay, so that's what I was really excited about. Okay, just some more needles. I don't really care about these. They're fine. They're fine. Ooh, more trim. Similar trim as that other trim that I showed you. <clears throat> what is this? Hmm. These are like some specialty needles. Sewing needs out of savings. That's cute. The back of that would be really cute to put in a junk journal. And... Yeah, I don't need these. These I'll probably donate. These are modern. Oh, zipper repair kit as advertised in life. That's cool. That will probably make its way to my vintage sewing stuff behind us here. Oh, these are cool. Oh my gosh, these are so, that is a cute graphic. Star Snap. That is such a cute graphic. I might stick that into my needle collect my needle um, book collection just as a little addendum because I love the graphic here. That's very cool. All right, what else do we have? What's this? A little sewing kit. That's useful. I'm gonna give that to Hannah for college. Ah, another one of these. This I saw in here and I wanted. Love those. Put that in with my junk journaling stuff. See, I have this little container here that has some paper scraps in it, and I'm just putting things I find in these jars for junk journaling in there. All right, some zippers. This jar, this uh, five dollars, not as good as the other one, but I do like that tomato, so it's worth it for the tomato. Little scissor, not as cool as my other scissor. Oh, what's this? Oxmoor House Point Turner. Is that for quilting? <gasps> Ooh, these are cute. Corsage pins. Those are pretty. That'll be good for crafting. Oh, a seam ripper. I've needed one of these. That's great. Um, I don't have one. Terrific. Now I do for my cross stitching. Needed a seam ripper, so that was useful. Anything else? Ooh, these are fun. This is a little stitchery scissor, but it's shaped like a, oh, it's a fairy. I thought it was a butterfly, but it's a fairy. It's so cute. Can you see? Oh, wait, ready? <laughs> That's really cute. I like those. Those I will keep. That's a cool uh, way to sell your thread. I like that. That will go in here. I've never seen that before. That's going to go right in there. I just have to find a better spot for it. There we go. Oh, this is cute. Little thing of pins. That's useful. Useful, vintage looking. Very cute. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This one was not as good as the first one, but I am super excited about the tomato. So, all right. So that's all that I have for you today. It was really fun to open my treasures with you. I hope you enjoyed them and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.